Welcome back. In a moment, teenage hunk Simon Fenton. He's being hailed as the new Tom Cruise. And what's more, he's British. Well done, Audrey. You're playing a blinder. Now, Thank you it is very decision much, time. Stephen. Are you going to go for the Air Mauritius holiday or are you going to go for the car? I think we're going for the car. You're going to go for the car and who's playing? Mike, if you would. Right, could we show the viewers at home the answers we've already got? And could I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Here's Stephen Rhodes with the East at Westminster. And here's the forecast from today. Road hauliers either going Dutch or out of business. So I went undercover and arranged a meeting with Margot Carney at their office in St Albans. Is that too long for you to wait or mm. how's that time frame? No, going? no, I, I didn't know what the status was because you say it's green belt and That's I didn't right. know when it was zoned. And these specific plots have been identified, have they? Yes, definitely. For what? Basically, residential development only. So, to sum up, a unique investment opportunity. A mere £20,000 will buy you one of these plots of land. And imagine what that'll be worth if it gets planning permission. And we are talking about land here. I mean, you can't lose. Well, I'm not so sure about that. The problem is this is farmland, and it can only be used as such. And that's just one of the blockbuster movies that we're previewing for National Cinema Day this Sunday. We're going to have more big screen smash hits later. And, and when, the, did, the, when did you do all that? Because the, the problems we, that we've seen there in our little bit of film, I mean, they have happened recently. Well, that was earlier this year. Here in the East, Frankenstein Foods are hope for the future. Should farmers be allowed to grow GM crops? In the front rooms, bedrooms and kitchens of this country, there is a hidden workforce. Yet their work accounts for about one quarter of all manufacturing jobs. But Britain's one million home workers are probably the least protected members of the workforce, earning often as little as 50p an hour and often without any proper employment contract. <laughs> And welcome back. Now, just going into the break there, you will have seen the new look Cindy in her brand newly designed train spotting gear. We'll see you next week. Bye.